morning guys um, you are going to be reading um, a story about born to ride um, this is going to um, help us learn more about the main idea and details um, so look at the passage the title of this passage and sometimes it's a clue about what the passage is about so what are you thinking born to ride no. I bet you um, have been thinking about maybe motorcycles, bicycles, maybe car rides, um, some kind of a ride. Um, well, one way to check understanding is to first decide what you think about the main ideas will be based, exam for example, on the title. And then you compare the text that you read with what you expected. Um, so based on the title, I expect the passage to be something about um, a person riding a bicycle. Um, so as you're reading this through, um, I would like you to be thinking about um, connecting the details to the main idea of the story. Um, you're going to be reading about Miguel Indurin. Um, he won the Tour de France. Um, a Tour de France is a bicycle race, um, and he won it not only once, but you're going to read how many times he read it. Um, so when you um, get to this point, just go ahead and stop and read and answer the questions, and then you can come back to the video. All right. Well, hopefully you had a chance to read um, Born to Ride, um, the story of Miguel Indurian. Um, so, I'm going to go down here to um, the first question. So, which of the following is not given as a reason for Miguel's success? Well, his natural calmness, the fact that he values hard work, the quality of his team, his aggressive nature. So, looking up here, let's take a look. Um, his first one. I notice um, his calmness. So let's see if we can find that. Oh, here we go. It talks right here about him, um, whoops, sorry about that, being calm. It says he was naturally calm, um, which allowed him to stay focused. So that is um, a reason for his success. Um, let's see here. Um, also, let's see here about his um, hard work. I did read that. Here it is. It says his father taught him that hard work is something that you always do, no matter how difficult it is. So that is part of a reason. Um, and also the quality of his team. Did you read that as well? Oh, let's see here. Um, Um, sorry about that guys okay um, let's see here his quality of his team um, oh right here he was surrounded by excellent teammates um, who helped him succeed so those were part of what was given a reason did we find anything about his aggressive nature I do not believe reading any of that so this would be D his aggressive nature Okay, right number two, which sentence best describes the main idea of the passage? Miguel Indurian was friendly. The Tour de France is a difficult bicycle race. Miguel Indurian was an extraordinary athlete. To win, a, a rider needs a good bicycle. So out of those choices, what do you think is the main idea of the passage? Um, I think you are correct, and I would choose that the main idea is that Miguel Indurian was an extraordinary athlete. Even though he may have been friendly, that's not what the passage is mainly about. Um, even though the Tour de France is difficult bicycle race, yep, not what it's all about. Or to win, a, right, a rider needs a good bike. It's not what the main idea of this passage was about. Okay, number three, which statement is best supported by the passage. Big lungs are an advantage for bike riders. 
the Giro d'Italian is more difficult than the Tour de France. Olympic track cycling is easy, or Miguel would rather have been a farmer. So let's take a look here. Um, big lungs are an advantage for bike, bike racers um, because he did. It says Miguel had large lungs and a strong heart, both of which helped him endure the 2,200 miles of the Tour de France. Um, the, the Giro d'Italia is more difficult than the Tour de France. Um, I don't remember reading that at all. Um, it does talk about that he won it. But it doesn't talk about that it is more difficult. So right here, this is not supported by the passage. Um, Olympic track cycling is easy. Wow, I didn't read that either because he said he captured a gold medal in track cycling during the 1996 Olympics. But I do not read that it was easy. So that's not supported. Um, Miguel would rather have been a farmer. Even though he grew up on a farm, I don't see anywhere that it says that he'd rather be a farmer. So the answer to three is A. His lungs are an advantage for bicycle racer, racers. Okay, number four is a little tricky and you needed to use some of that brain power you have. So when did Miguel win his first Tour de France? Now, initially you look up here and it says in 1995, you might think the answer is D. Oh, but look, it said Miguel Indurian won the Tour de France for the fifth time in a row. So we have to go back five years. So you count back 1995, 1994, 1993, 1992, and five years would be 1991. He won the first one in 1991. Okay, um, and then it's going to ask you to list two main reasons that Miguel's fans will remember him. Hopefully you have more than two reasons from reading this passage. So go ahead and jot those down. Remember to use complete sentences and use your race when you are answering them. Um, I'm gonna, we're going to move down to the second part where we're going to correct sentences. Now remember, every sentence begins with what? Yep, a capital letter. What does every sentence end with? Punctuation. Um, we have gone over and over and over about the different types of sentences, um, statements, commands, questions, or exclamations. Um, so, let's see here if you were able to use what you know and make some new sentences. So, take lessons from my teacher, period. That is a command um, telling you to do something. Take lessons from my teacher. Right here. Have you ever whoops, seen Peggy Fleming skate? Question mark. It's asking you a question. Here might be a little more challenging how graceful she is. Now it starts with how, and usually that's a uh, question, but in this it's just a explaining how graceful she is. It's not a question. It's not like how graceful she is. Nope, it's just how graceful she is. She won a gold medal in the Olympic Games of 1968. And then we're going to end that with a period. Hey, if you ever want to know how old Mrs. Getz is, she was born in 1968. I can just see you're all trying to figure it out now. Okay, here's another question. Name another Olympic skater. Period. It's just a command. It's telling you to do something. Name it. Okay, when 
do Olympic skaters have time to practice? It is a question. It's asking you, when do they have time to practice? They get up early every day to skate, period. Here's another more challenging one. How wonderful it would be to win a medal. Now, is this a question or is this a sentence? What are you guys thinking? Yep, it's a, it's a sentence. It's not asking a question. It's just clarifying how wonderful it would be. All right, so this is the conclusion of their Monday's work. Um, make sure your name is on it and you please turn it in before fine arts time. Okay, have a great day.